Now to a Defender's investigation about an effort to keep you and our veterans safe. A local VA doctor admitting to drinking before showing up to work at the Salisbury VA. The North Carolina Medical Board now taking steps to indefinitely suspend his license to practice medicine. The Defender's Nathan Morabito has been digging into this case for weeks now. He joins us from one of our local VA hospitals with more on what he found. Nathan. A federal spokesperson tells us the Salisbury VA immediately suspended Dr. Gregory Scott, reported him to the state medical board, and started the removal process. But the longtime neurologist retired first, all within 17 days of showing up to work under the influence. The welcome sign says it all. We only want the best doctors and nurses there. Excellent service earned by veterans. The most professional people. Delivered here. Who there to serve us and give us the professional service that we deserve. But this longtime neurologist's actions late last year call that excellent service into question. Disciplinary records show Dr. Gregory Scott admitted he drank alcohol before reporting to work on December 13th. Weeks later, he voluntarily surrendered his license at the state medical board's request after being diagnosed with an alcohol use disorder. Fast forward to this month, the board took formal action, ordering his license indefinitely suspended. We are all after the same ultimate objective, to do what's right for our veterans. That's what the acting VA secretary said just last week during a congressional hearing. The topic, nationwide accountability at the VA. With him coming to work intoxicated, shows that he's really not concerned about our well-being. Dr. Scott and his colleagues treated roughly 550 patients a month in the last six months of 2017. People with disorders impacting the brain, spinal cord, and nerves. Frederick Smith is a Vietnam vet who's treated at the same VA hospital, although not by Dr. Scott. What bothers him is the fact this doctor's years of service and age allowed him to retire before the VA could formally fire him. That eats me up, yeah. Retired with all his benefits, you know, huh. No. Nationwide, the VA is on pace to remove far more employees this year compared to last. VA police cited Dr. Scott with two violations related to alcohol on VA property. But a Department of Justice spokesperson tells us those citations were dismissed last week. I'm Nathan Morabito for NBC Charlotte.